Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Real Wildlife. And today guys, we're just going to check up on everybody, especially the Nile and the water monitor. Now that you see on the Nile's back, guys, is just dirt and stuff because he likes to sleep inside of the dirt. But um, it's early in the morning. You can see that uh, he's waking up. He's doing his little thing. Um, so uh, but look, he's doing good, guys. Yesterday he ate... It's cold outside right now. We're going to go to the greenhouse. So you, you don't want to leave, guys. It's going to get really good. You're going to see everybody. But um, it's pretty cold. Again, you're getting these crazy cold fronts. I expected that in March. Not in April, guys. But uh, it is what it is. It is about 55 right now, early in the morning outside. So um, the greenhouse is kept pretty warm. Uh, or at least warmer than, than the outside. I think it's like at almost 69, 70. Uh, but it's super early in the morning, so it's gonna warm up in a bit and we'll go out there and check it out right now in a bit But uh, the Nile's not getting none of that stuff. Um, he's he's kept pretty warm inside um, And he's doing good. He's eating he like I said he just ate yesterday guys You can see him as soon as the light turns on he's out and about you can see that big belly of his He ate tons of crickets. He's eating a pinky. He's eating uh, a little bit of uh, tiny pieces of heart a little bit of chicken. I've been mixing it up guys shrimp everything guys you name it I'm feeding up pretty much every day. It's been about I'd say five to six or seven days somewhere around there So almost or if not just a week um, And uh, like I said guys, we're trying to bulk them up I'm gonna give them another week for sure inside and then if anything a third week and then pretty much he's going outside by then I do think he'd be a little bit bigger just at, to the point where his head can squeeze out of the mesh so the mesh gaps are about half inch. We just need that head structure of his to be a little bit bigger than half an inch. Or if not, just to a point where he can't squeeze that head out. If he can't hit, squeeze his head out, guys, out of the mesh outside in the outdoor enclosures, he pretty much cannot escape. Um, but uh, nonetheless, guys, if in three weeks, it's still just a tad bit right on the spot or a little bit under. We are just going to wait another week. And I for sure think that within a month, he should be ready to go outside. So this enclosure is pretty small, guys. But remember, this is just temporary. So uh, let's go outside, guys. But before we do, guys, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's go check out everybody else. All right, guys. Pretty much everybody in the greenhouse is going to be on a chill situation. You're going to hear a lot of chirping, guys. Because as you can hear outside, it's wet. I'm going to show you just a glimpse of how wet and, and everything it is. Um, and the grass is gonna get crazy, so I haven't even cut the grass. Um, with that being said, guys, the chicks are a little too small, so I have Grogu over here for the night. I'm keeping an eye on him, uh, but the chickens are in here. They're still pretty small. Some of them are bigger than the others, but they're in here just for the next, uh, extra two days. Tomorrow it'll be back in the 70s, and then jump all the way in the next coming days after that into the 80s and then 90s, and then we're good. So really, really, tomorrow 70s is good. It's just yesterday and today, guys, that I have to make sure these guys are good. So, excuse the chirping. Uh, but, oh man, I thought it was... I guess since I'm opening the door, it's dropping in temperature. But um, a little while ago, it was around... The first time I came in, around 67, I believe. So, dropped about... Every time I open the door, it drops about 6 degrees. But that's not too bad, guys, because that might be the ambient temperature. But I have localized heat, and in those areas... I can pretty much guarantee it's pretty warm there, at least in the 80s. It should be hotter if it was hot outside, but see, like right now, these guys are not dumb. Look at that. So it's not ideal basking temperature, but if, but for a day like this, it's pretty much good for these guys. They know where to be at. So I don't want to feed on these days, guys, just because if they miss it and they don't bask, um, especially the raw food eaters like the mangrove and the water monitor, I don't want them to eat because it is raw food and I need those internal temperatures of, the, of themselves to be pretty high up there. Uh, yes, they have their basking spots and they're not dumb. I'm going to show you guys and I, I'm not putting them there, guys. If I put my hand in the mangrove, he's going to run off. But see, he's right there and if I get his temperature, um, the red light is on him. He's 86, but that's not what I really want. I want him to be in his 90s and then the basking temperature at 110 around there. Uh, water monitor is right there actually too. Um, see how warm this guy is. Now this basking temperature of his isn't that warm. But remember guys, I don't rely on on uh, these lamps. These are just extra because on hot days when the temperature outside is like at 80, 90 or whatever. 
inside the greenhouse is going to be pretty much at the peak of the day around 95 and then plus their supplemental or whatever heat it's going to bring those good temperatures to around 115 uh once we get to those high temperatures these things shut off and for about an hour or two they're getting 100 degrees in here and then it'll go back down and they'll microclimate into the water dishes into uh fresher areas and stuff like that but let's see how much temperature this guy has so he's 80 like i said he doesn't have one of those nice uh spot lamps and stuff he just has a little warmer he keeps that on all night guys um you can see that through that little hole right there it's 120 now if i get the light from down here guys that bulb is basically almost four around 400 degrees uh fahrenheit so it's pretty warm i'm sure it's radiating way more heat than that but it dissipates so he's around 80 which is good guys but that's why i do not want to feed guys uh because if i do feed their internal temperatures are not as what i want now tomorrow outside it'll be in the 70s so what i'm doing right now he would have been like pretty much 90 degrees in body temperature right now it's for this guy these guys over here would be even higher and then the night the day after that we're getting into back into the high 80s and then 90s and so on and so forth so i'll start adjusting every day these enclosures as, but i need these stupid cold fronts to stop happening guys that's super annoying but yeah guys other than that guys i just want you to know that i'm every day i'm working my butt off i am basically their thermostat i don't have a thermostat anymore so i am making sure i am their thermostat i'm adjusting everything it is very sensitive so i have to be very careful how i do things before i had the thermostats it was a lot easier anything fluctuates everything turns on or off uh, depending on the temperature in here but um hopefully we could do that next winter right now this isn't supposed to be happening like i said guys this is april april in south texas we're not supposed to be getting cold fronts but uh i guess i don't know it's part of the weather part of nature right but yeah guys this is the water monitor now he's gonna be pretty calm not too much i mean he is pretty warm oh man it is really warm here actually i just ate some chick-fil-a uh chicken biscuit so i don't know if he's gonna smell the chicken on my fingers hopefully he doesn't bite me but he's he's pretty chill now i shouldn't disturb him he's he's keeping himself warm i don't want him to move from that area but yeah that's the water monitor you got to see the nile now you saw the water monitor you can see they're doing great um we still haven't dressed up the enclosure because a stupid cold front came in and i didn't want to be messing with enclosures right now but uh we will be doing that pretty soon ton tons in here guys in a pamper box um just for the night and now for the day guys because it's pretty uh, cold and now the outside being that it's like 60 and stuff throughout the day i mean i could technically put them outside as long as it's not like 50 55 or something like that but it's wet so it makes that temperature way colder so i don't want them outside i don't want them getting a respiratory infection so i'd rather have them in here it's still a little bit more cool there's not there's no breeze in here and stuff so i'd rather have them in here for the extra one or two days and then after that, guys, you know he's out there eating all the grass and hibiscus and stuff like that. But here's the rhino, guys. And they're not dumb, guys. They know where to be at and when to be at there in those spots. You know what I mean? The chickens, guys, I mean, they're not supposed to be in here. They actually don't even like them in here. Look at all the mess they make. I have to be making sure they have water. I have to be making sure they're fed. I just fed them a little while ago. And, uh... But they're getting way bigger. And they would handle the temperature okay. They've, they've done it before. Uh, a couple of days ago. Um, before I brought them in. They, you know. I, I brought them in pretty late guys. I brought them in yesterday. Um, I could have brought them in the day before. But they did great. But I just want to make sure they're doing good. Because I really want these guys to do well. Um, but as soon as uh, tomorrow hits. Because at night it's going to be pretty cold. And then tomorrow in the 70s. These guys are out. It's not going to be rainy anymore. Nothing like that. Now, the, the mangrove, guys, is over here. Let's see if we can get pretty close to him. No, you know what? Leave this camera over here. Because he's going to run. Whoa. This guy's pretty fast, guys. I can handle him. I'm not scared of him. I'm not worried he's going to bite. Uh, or her, she's going to bite. I've handled her before. Um, she'll calm down as soon as I have her in my hands. But... It's pretty much hard, guys, to do that with a camera in my hand. So, please don't judge. Um, you know, I could grab it right now if I really wanted to, to calm down. But she's going to go back to that hot spot right now. I guarantee you she's pretty smart at what she needs to do. Um, as long as, so long there's no water in her water dish, I'm good. Because 
that does mess her up. And on days like this, guys, I have to be on point. Even if I had more heaters in here and a thermostat, the water has to go because the water still stays cold. And these guys, especially the water monitors and especially the mangroves, the mangroves actually love water more than the Niles and then the water monitors, in my opinion. Um, or maybe just as much. I don't know. In my opinion, the mangroves just love to be in the water. Um, these guys will go in the water. So, right now, guys, you might think there's water in there because you saw something splash. I mean, he's flat on his belly. and Or she's flat on his belly. And there's about a half inch water. Maybe on one side because it's kind of leaning this way. Uh, there's about an inch. And the other side is half an inch to less than half an inch. Why do I do that, guys? Because I need her to have water just in case she needs to drink some. Um, but really, that's not enough to stun her. And she's not going to want to be in there. There's not too much water. Uh, I've already done the trial and stuff. and Basically, like a little trial. And I saw that little bit of water, she's not going to want to be in there. Now, if I had more than that, where her whole body was kind of like at least three, four inches of it, she'll be in there. And any more, like the whole thing folded up like six, seven, six inches. She'll be in there guaranteed. They're pretty dumb at that. They like the water so much that they'll stun themselves if they have to. And then that's dumb, guys. You risk them dying and getting hypothermia and stuff like that. So on days like this, I don't even chance it before the cold front hits. I empty their water bowls to like less than half an inch. Same thing with every guy that I have in here. Um, even this one. If you look at it, less than an inch of water. Just in case you got to drink water, they can drink it. And that's it they're out of there they're not going to stay in there too long and a little bit of water like that might not get too cold as if it was a lot of water oh, there's still heat radiating in here and stuff but you can see the temperature is rising as a you know it's a degree more but it's a degree more and in the, in the time passing an hour more and stuff it's going to go climbing and climbing right now i got to exit the greenhouse so it's going to get pretty cold again <laughs> but um just wanted to do that little update video and show you that basically for sure the water monitor and the Nile because they're new they're doing great I didn't want to show you these guys in here because that's not what we do here but um I don't know it's it has to be done today like this even this guy I don't want him in here this is not a part of the video but I need to make sure that everybody's nice and warm uh, pretty soon we'll have the Nile right here and then once the water monitor and I will get pretty big then what I'm going to do probably is have the Nile all in this one and the water monitor all in this one, the mangrove all in that one. It'll be my three monitor enclosures and then the rhino will get an, uh, another enclosure outside of here or something. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Um, and then eventually, given another two years from now, I'll you know have my other big enclosures for sure way before then. And they'll go into those other enclosures that I have from the old greenhouse if you remember them which they're about eight feet by eight feet. And then if we have to build more, or if those don't work out and we have to build more, we will build more. So this is just temporary, guys. This is their, their setups for their first, second year of life and stuff. So maybe first year, depending on how big they get. Like the mangrove doesn't get too big compared to a Nile and a water monitor, right? But yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you that uh, update to you guys. But um, hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are having a great week and a good rest of your week and uh comment below tell me how your animals are doing what cool new pets you've gotten um how things have changed have you got any new babies any new uh breeding things that you're doing you can hear the rain guys and see how that vent doesn't open if it's under 75 78 i believe over 75 it starts opening up and then it's, it gets hotter and hotter it'll open up way more and if it gets cold again it'll close Anyways, guys, again, let me know what you all got, how things are going for you guys. Um, I thank you guys for watching, and I guess we'll see you in the next video. Till next time, guys, y'all stay safe as always. Peace.